Hello, everyone, and welcome to another 2B episode of Iron Panther Presents. Uh, today, we shall be discussing the fantastical movie, The Affair, uh, which we both uh, discovered on 2B, came out in 2023. We're doing it this year. Uh, but as, as we say, st stick around for the intro, and then we'll get to the show. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I got, I got to do it now. Wait, wait, wait. This is going to be funny. Wait, wait, wait. You ready? Wait, wait, wait. I got to do it. <laughs> this is awesome. This is awesome. This is amazing. I love it. It was psychological. It was emotional. Extremely entertaining. Uh, but as always, as we try to say here, uh, as we did, uh, if you are new to the channel, please uh, subscribe to the channel. Um, and as we talk about this video, please uh, like on the video and comment on the video, and we will get back to you as soon as possible. That is right. We shall answer the question, what happens when you fuck around on your wife? Uh, don't shit where you eat. Also, I think it's another good uh, uh, a thought that comes, that comes from this movie. Uh, they should not be doing that. Uh, but we'll get into all of that. Uh, this hour and a half movie on 2B. Everyone should watch it. I, I tell you that. The ending, I said, was Shakespearean and how this shit went down. Uh, it was wild. But anyway, let's get to it. Uh, Stacey, uh, please, are you shaking your head? You don't agree? Uh, what what do you think of this foolishness, please? David gave this movie way too much grace. This <laughs> is mediocre at best. I mean, it's a Tubi movie. It's not the worst Tubi movie. It's not the best Tubi movie. It's just Tubi. It's like 90 minutes of I have nothing else to do with my life. Let's push play, right? That's what this is. I don't know what David's obsession is with Detroit. I think, you know, his in a in a previous life, he worked for GM in a plant somewhere and he's just reliving some type of something. I don't know. But yeah, he keeps making us watch these Detroit movies. And I don't know why. What? Fine. That's all you got. That's all you got. Huh? All right. Fine. We'll, we'll get back to you. Uh, Kim, uh, what, 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 what you what, what you think of uh, the affair? I thought it was entertaining. You know, that's my that's my thing. I thought it was entertaining. I was like, and the thing is, is that this stuff happens like all the time. Like, and that's my the point. There's ninety nine thousand other two B movies just like this one. That I is true. You. That is true. I absolutely, Stacy. I can't even argue with you on that. It's one. a formula. You got to have a it, pastor, a shady pastor, yeah. cheating spouse, at least one, maybe both. Yes. In this case. Yes. And your best friend trying to get with your wife or your husband and bastard children. Yep. Throw in some mental illness. There you go. I, I, okay. don't, I don't call I don't call children out of wedlock bastards because <laughs> I had a child out of wedlock and my, people try to call him we'll that. Get past and, that. We'll say yeah, un, get past uh, unplanned that. children. Unplanned yes. children. Okay. All right. All right. There, but please give. Yeah. So anywho. Um, I mean, it was like I said, it was entertaining, but it is the typical story, right? It happens all the time. The pastor makes me that's been happening since what? Since pastors been in there's church, people, being, they're, they're yeah, people, people around people, yeah, because they're people first, right? Yeah, yeah. So, but this one was out of control, though. I mean, that daggone chick that he impregnated, I was like, why did you pick the craziest one? Like, she, she was. I, how he couldn't tell she was crazy. Like I knew she was crazy from the very beginning. Like when she was sitting next to her her friend Cindy. Cindy oh uh, man, I love Cindy. Yeah, I love that. I love I was like, and there's the thing, Cindy knows she's crazy. Her other girlfriend, I can't remember her name, the other young lady that was trying to be a friend to her, they know she was batshit crazy. So I was like, why are you like okay? So I don't, are we going with positives or negatives? We're going with positives. We're going with okay. positives, Kim. So it was entertaining. I thought his wife, um, uh, Dana, Dana, Dana. Yeah, I thought Dana um, was very. Um, how can I say this? Forgiving. Um, she was very forgiving. I don't know if I would have been forgiving like that. I probably wouldn't have. I probably would have been like, well, "You got to go." Like you have to leave the house because he embarrassed not only her but himself and the entire church, and then blamed it on everybody else. Right? Okay. So anyway, I don't I don't really have any positives on this this at all because everything on this was horrible as far as what was going on. So there's no real positives for me. And everybody was like, this was kind of like 
accepting it like it was normal. I was like, this is not this is normal. You know, so all right, I, I will I will do the positive then. I will acknowledge that this review is is because of me. Uh, I, I, uh, so uh, Dennis Reed the second. Uh, he is the producer of this movie. Uh, he produced several other Detroit based movies. That he's pretty much the same actors in every movie. Uh, Cindy, uh, the the character of Cindy is played by China, uh, the very black uh, uh, inspired Korean uh, woman in a lot of these movies, and she's the same in every movie. And she brings and it every time. She's not black at all. <laughs> inspired. That's why I said inspired. I'm saying, but yeah, she definitely, yeah. she definitely grew. She definitely grew up in that community. She definitely grew up with black that, 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 that yeah. she is embraced. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. and she is hilarious. Like she, 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 she definitely makes a movie uh, for that. But positive. Well, I thought I, I thought we were gonna get Fatal Attraction, standard. You know, like mistress goes crazy, attacks the family, and be done with it. That's what I thought. And this went a lot of different more directions. You know, to the point. Um, Douglas, I like the fact that it started with both women being pregnant, that we did get the whole, oh, I met the pa Douglas met Marcy, you know, at a, at a Bible study and let's have dinner and that kind of shit. Like we start off with pregnant wife, pregnant mistress, both children going to be named after him. And then we get the ball rolling. So they, they cut out a lot of that. And I actually like that. But to your point though, we don't know how Marcy was before she got pregnant. We don't know. If she if she was talking to herself, if she has that like so we only see her postpartum depression. We only see her when she's about to lose Douglas, and then she she completely loses her shit. Like and and, and when she pushed that baby carriage, I, 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 just, I I'm looking at it right now. When the sheep, it still makes my heart jump. I was like, what in the like? You clearly understand that this woman is crazy because logically you would never push. A carriage where the baby's gonna flip out onto the onto the ground. I was like, "What?" She? And it was all because he told her that that it was over. And I'm like, "So basically, you had the baby thinking, which is stupid, because a lot of women think this that the baby is gonna keep y'all together, right? He's gonna be with me and leave his wife because I had his baby. Well, his wife had his baby too, so I don't. It was, but him. like. You did not see that coming because that doesn't happen. No. Like I was like, "What?" And then I was like, "Okay, maybe this was a, a, a mental break. Like it didn't happen, but she thought it happened." No, that shit really happened. It like really that, baby, happened. that baby had to go to the hospital. I was yeah. like, "Oh shit!" I was like, "This, this is crazy." Like this bitch is out of her mind. And then her constant talking to herself was hilarious. Yeah, like it this, was fun. It was. It didn't. What they were trying to give us. It they we they were not projecting that it was more like camp, and like it was, it was it was it was a lack of special effects budget because they could they couldn't do the inner monologue yeah. and then do the external action so the actor had to do everything herself yeah so you're like are these people hearing this shit because she's screaming it out like how are you not and it but like she did her best like even with that I thought she did her best trying to be two people at the same time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I was like, that that's that's hilarious. But that that um that auto tunes they tried to do for her inner voice, like that wasn't yeah. consistent. Yeah. So it, it made it like, is she saying this shit out loud? Or is yeah, she... you couldn't tell. Yeah. I was when she was like talk, talking about killing the neighbor that walked by one day when she was sitting on the porch. I was like, is the neighbor hearing this? Because she's like, let's kill that bitch. She's like, no, no, I can't, I can't, but maybe I can. No, I can't. I was like, oh shit. I like, is she? What was about to happen? I, I thought she was about to kill her. I was like, after the baby, I was like, she's gonna kill this bitch. I was like, I was like, oh shit. Yeah. Wow. Just, just wow. Um. So uh, Marcy, so Marcy made the movie for me. Um, her banging her head, like when she was like, "He doesn't love you. He doesn't want you." I was Ooh. like, "This." I was yeah. like, "How?" how and, you and not her lobe, I was like, "You are definitely gonna you, have some brain damage, sweetheart." You gotta like, be. You gotta be in a coma. Like you yes. should have knocked yourself out. Like it was yeah. insane. Like I was. And th didn't she jump out the car? Or, or, am I thinking about another movie? Did she jump out the car in this movie? I. You know okay. What? I thought she did. I anyway. thought she did. She. I can't remember if it's this one. Or, I think we are. the other one? I feel. Damn it. Anyway, mm -hmm. point is, she does remember. try to run over her her uh, Douglas. Uh, Douglas was a piece of shit. I mean, just in general. Oh, I mean, of course, he was absolutely the the worst one out of everything. He was the even to his best friend, the yeah. guy 
the really handsome guy. He's so cute. Uh, Melvin, oh. Melvin, the one that ends up in Dana. Yes, him. <laughs> uh, anyway, well, he was really, really, um, he was mean to him, but it wasn't his fault that he lost the church. It was Douglas's fault he lost the church. Of course, so, yeah. So why are you mad at him? You know, like. I don't, I don't, I, my thing was, though, how do you try to fuck your friend's wife while he's in the house? What's up, Stacey? You, you got comments for that? You, you are muted or you're just talking to yourself? Uh, no, you, you're muted. No. <laughs> he's right there and y'all fucking on the kitchen counter. I was so confused. Me too. Me too. But I will tell you, that has happened. Please. I know someone that happened to. <laughs> um, it, it, and they got away with it. Let's just say that. It, all right. They got away with all it. right. It, all right. Well, it was during please. a party. Yep. What? How many people were at the party? Oh, about 40. They fucked in the kitchen. In the kitchen. 40 people at the party. Yes. Yep. Now it's like, okay. So how do you know? Because I saw it. All right. So cops. I walked in the kitchen to get more stuff. And then I see from the back. Okay. All right. All right. And I'm like, you said it's the dude again. Yeah. So, and so I don't know you saw it. I'm sure yeah. other people saw it. Yeah. I'm sure, but it wasn't. This is the thing: the the person who should have seen it did not see it. Oh, okay. So that was nobody. The thing. Huh? Oh yeah, no, nobody said. Nobody no, bro. said. Uh, hey, bro, sis, yeah, whatever. No, no, that happened later on during game night. That's <laughs> what? When, that's when the truth came out. Yeah. Wow. Now, okay. Somebody was losing and they were like, that's why your wife was fucking me. Well, they, well, you know, it was game night and it was only like 10 people and then they were talking back and forth and then the two men who were involved got a little heated, right? We're just playing a game taboo, you know, just playing. And then, you know, it just got heated and then one thing led to another. That's why I, your wife. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And, uh, so so that so that kind of goes to Melvin. So once Melvin decides mm-hmm. I'm gonna fuck Dana, um, you know, he's like, hey, like I'm like, what? I was like, this this is kind of fucked up. Like you take, but then they they turn to relationship. It was it was weird how again that kind of progressed to another relationship. Also, I thought Douglas would have got some other woman at the church pregnant. Like it's weird that it was on it was only Marcy. Like that kind of that, like you said, like that kind of pastor in that kind of position, mm-hmm. you're not the only one. And and there would have been some other young lady to be like, I was the first or the third, you know what I'm saying? And and then Marcy he realizes was, he could have been smashing other women, they just but he didn't get them pregnant. But he could have been having sex with multiple women at the at the church. That would have been that would have been a, a good twist to give Marcy mm-hmm. some of some room to kill some people. Like if she was just taking out the other women, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like that that would have been that would have been good. So Dana, you talking about Dana being forgiving? The fact that she was like, "I'm going to adopt this," uh, you know, Marcy's kid. I was, was what's up, Stacy? Nope, not yeah. you. Yeah, that's too good. Yeah, they captured grandmother and kept it moving. Sorry, not sorry. Yeah. And that, thank you for that. It was weird how Dana, and particularly Dana, was fighting to keep yes. Grandma away yes. from her own biological child. Yes. I'm like, what? What? Like she overstepped. She overstepped. It was too much. I was like, Dana, know your place. Like, what are you doing? That's the child's grandmother. Let the grandmother take care of this child that your husband, you know, cheated on you to get. Like, what is wrong with you? It don't. And, it didn't make it didn't make any sense. I'm like I'm like again. It wasn't it wasn't like grandma's not there. It's either me or Marcy who right pushed, who right. Pushed the baby like, there's the no like, other like, person that could take care of this right. Baby. Like that's different. But, like you don't you don't give the baby to Sydney Cindy because like she it, it might it might it might have to take take some different turns. Uh, but um, but anyway, I was like I didn't I didn't think <laughs> that. And then like time is spanning. Like it's been a year. Right. Yeah. Like so I was like oh like so you've been raising this child for a while. So she's like I have two boys named Douglas. No, you got. One boy named Douglas, and you got your other kid that you know, like this. This is some, uh, Game of Thrones stuff. I was like, I, like, I came child. back with my uh, what's, <laughs> your I bonus came, I child. Back, yeah, I came back with Jon Snow, uh, and he's gonna be in the family. Is that cool? Uh, yes. Uh, that baby would have had an accident. Like you would have thought that Dana would be going through postpartum depression. And uh, what they do in Sparta, they kicked them off the cliff. Like, yeah, that's right. It's like, <laughs> well, that's because the baby was a uh, was it had imperfections. He's defective. Uh, but, uh, 
I was like, damn. I was like, that's that's real rough. Anyway, I was the progression of the story was 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 wild. The talking to the voices was was crazy, but the ending is what really like. Okay, so at some point, Dana does does kick does kick uh Douglas out. Dana mm-hmm. does kick Douglas out. Mm-hmm. And then so she is like, and then he immediately goes back to the crazy one. Like again, so like you of had no, he's like, hey, baby. She's the rebound. That's what they do. Yeah. And she he was like, Yeah, let's do this. I was like, how is this? Possible? Like it, well, she is crazy, so never mind. I'm not even gonna ask that question. What's up? I was like, he treated her like shit. And then as yeah. soon as he comes back, they're like, Oh, we're gonna be a family. And mm-hmm. I was like, did you not no. remember that he just dragged you for filth and denied your right. child and everything? She's nuts, okay? That's what and I'm saying. Desperate. You know, she's, nuts. she's but even women who aren't nuts still do stuff like this. I was, I was about to say that's that actually true. not that far fetched, right? Yeah, no, it's, not, it's not, yeah, it's absolute. And she, I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my god, and I'm looking at the scene where she's like just talking to herself and going bananas. I I love it. I love she, it. Oh, wait, you know wait, what? Wait. I gotta say, the actress did a good job. Like See? she did, she really did go there. Like as the, you know, bad shit crazy. I was like, okay, I believe that you're crazy, sweetheart. So you get you you get a medal. Like <laughs> again, this, this is a to be budget. Damn it, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, so like you, you gotta work with what you got. But that right. being said, I had to write it down. Douglas tries to smother Dana when he finds out about about her and Melvin. I was like, that is classic man. Yeah, that, that's really that's true. We, y'all can cheat, but as soon as a woman Ooh. cheats, oh, they try to kill you. You oh. trifling bitch. I yeah. cannot believe you did this. I can't. Yeah. Well, I thought we were gonna try to move on. <laughs> like, why are you holding my cheating against me? That was yesterday. That's what we're talking about now. Oh like, my that, god. The, oh, why are you holding on to the past? It was yesterday, nigga. What do you mean? <laughs> yep. Yep. I yep. Thought, I thought we were better than this. I thought we're not. <laughs> uh, we're not. <laughs> Actually, uh, with the whole pastor church thing, mm-hmm. uh, it would have been interesting if they would have taken back to Abraham. So then Dana can't get pregnant. And oh. she's like, hey, we, we got to do something. We've asked the Lord for a child, da, 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 da. Then Douglas happens to fuck Marcy. I feel like I've seen that before. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, it's, that was it's, all black, it's, it's right? Like and then, right? And then, so, and then she does get pregnant, and now it's like, oh my god! And then he tries to use that as a reason to be like, the Lord bless me with two sons, and it's his dumb ass who's like, we can bring both these child together, and da da da. Like, I think that w- that would have played better, I think, with the whole pastor thing because him being the pastor doesn't really matter. He could have been, a, you know, he could have worked at at Seven Eleven and still ended up in this situation. Like the church itself didn't really mean much. No. Um, and I'm, that's what I'm saying. Uh, instead of him <laughs> quote, quoting random Bible verses. Uh, uh, at, at times, um, and then he's became an alcoholic once he lost the church. Um, all right, so then we we got to talk about the ending because that's that's what sold it for me. That I was like, how how did all this happen? So I wrote it down by steps because I was oh, like, okay. how did we get let's, here? Let's hear it. Okay. All right, so then I'm like, <clears throat> notebook. First step: <laughs> Why was Melvin at the hotel room to, to begin with? Um, you know, I don't know exactly. <laughs> it it doesn't make sense. Like, how did he know that Douglas was there to begin with? Because he was basically stalking this man. Because he was outside the hotel, a motel, right? Yeah. Why was he there? He seemed surprised when Marcy walked up. So he it's not like he knew she was coming, right? So then he calls Dana. The woman he's trying to run away with, the mm-hmm. one he's trying to have a relationship with, mm-hmm. to be like, yo, did you know your hu-? he sounded like a girlfriend at this point? Did you hey girl, your man is up here with his mistress? What the fuck are you doing? Like, how is this helping your situation? Like, this doesn't make sense. Hmm. Why did, why did he bring a gun? Because he wanted to kill him. So that's a dip, even more. So he reason. wanted to kill Douglas. If so, okay. Okay. why are you calling Dana? That doesn't make sense. Like you, like I'm like he cocks the gun, and I'm like, what wh- again? Okay, you come there to kill him. You do that by yourself. You don't call Dana because you're about to kill him, so you can have his wife. Okay, that's motive. 
But then you call her and she says, well, give me your location. Somehow she gets the room number. So then she goes to the room and then magically she gets the hotel manager, whoever, to open the door. What? Right. I lost my key. Okay, let me just open the door. Wait, what? That, that doesn't happen. I yeah. locked myself out of hotels plenty of times. Yeah. And just open the door for you. What is your game plan, bitch? Why are you going in there? You already know they had a relationship. You already kicked them out the house. So what are you going in there for? And then Melvin sits outside this whole time. He don't even approach. Hey, girl, I'm the one that called you. Come over here. Let's come up with a game plan. Let's walk in there together. Like, that would have made more sense. Because you're like, no, I told you he ain't shit. Let's ride off into the sunset. Right, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, what? What? But anyway, so this so, so the movie could happen. So okay. then she comes in talking shit to a crazy bitch who pushed her own baby. So on to con well, it wasn't concrete on the grass. I it was concrete. It was well, she she, concrete, she right? pushed a stroller. She pushed a stroller. Yeah. I mean, it's off the, but it, yeah, it was on ground, hard ground. Either way, that baby, I'm sorry that baby didn't have some serious issues, but I'm like, yeah. Why are you talking shit to this woman that she don't know she's armed, but she's like, fuck you, bitch. So then that that's when Marcy shoots her. Yep. Yep. In some John Wick shit that she hit her straight in the throat. I was like, I had to watch it three times. I was like, how'd she get her in the throat? I was like, that's that's impressive. And then I'm like, oh, she's like, oh shit, boom. Then crazy she falls around. Crazy so, people got great aim. Apparently. <laughs> so then Marcy shoots Dana. So then she shoots Douglas for mm -hmm. saying, I love, I love Dana. Yeah. Then the voices come back. And then she shoots herself. herself. Yes. I was yep. like, this. I was like, oh, this movie's over. Like, this is this wild shit. Like, that's that's it, right? No, because then Mar Melvin comes in. Now he finally comes in. Oh my god! Mm -hmm. Everybody is shot. What, what, what is happening? Three hundred shots. No up? police. Nobody's calling. Nobody's no. investigating. Three gunshots, and you had time to go clean yourself <laughs> up and get so shot then, yourself. So then, yes. this is what Stacey and I were having this conversation. How did Douglas get the gun to shoot M Melvin? I had to go back and watch. I was I like, where did that watch. gun come from? Where did the gun come from, right? Because Melvin brought the gun that he had for some reason and put it down next to his baby, Dana, then for some reason goes into the bathroom and washes his hands. I'm not sure what we're trying to achieve here. Then he comes back and somehow, somehow Douglas, who got shot in the chest, who should have bled out at this point, is like, I got it. That you fucked my wife, I guess. Like, what are you shooting him for at this point? And he's like, uh, because he cussed him out while he was dying. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that. Shit. Fuck you, die, bitch. <laughs> bitch. So I was like, I was like, but everybody has impeccable aim. It's impressive. The man is bleeding to death. Hit him point blank rage. Now he's dead. I feel like they missed an opportunity. I feel like Cindy should have been the one to find this scene. Because she would have turned that shit out. Like, I would love to see her just lose her shit. Like, on, on all these people. I'm surprised because she always showed up everywhere else. She's always popping up. That's the thing, too. Like, they Oh, and then, wait a minute. Remember the time that Cindy did pop up to help her crazy friend? And she was like, okay, I, I need you to get out now. I was like, wait a minute, hold up. I would have slapped the shit out of her. Like, look, I'm here to help you. And you what, you going to talk to me like that? Remember when she said, I got to go to the bathroom? Cindy came to her house and was oh, like- Oh, yeah, 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 you gotta need go. to hurry up. And she's like, yeah. oh, man, I have to, yeah, I, I saw yeah, that scene. She, I was like, well, she, she that, is, she she is mentally is unstable. Point. She is mentally unstable. I mean, I don't know why. You, I, I mean, but at that point, that's Cindy's fault for trying to help the silly bitch. Like at some point, yeah, somebody yeah, you can't help exactly. people that can't help themselves, right? Like yeah. you gotta let this one go. Um, because yeah, yeah. she clearly was clear, she proved she's more committed to Douglas Sr. or than she was to Douglas Jr. You know what I'm saying? Um when and she got so, out the crazy home, all she was talking about was Douglas. Yes, not Douglas Jr., just Douglas. Yes, like does he want he wants to be a family with me? No, no. <laughs> He no, he crazy chick. No. I know they don't have the budget. Yeah. But it would have been nice if they would have created like a separate entity for her inner voice. 
So she had someone to talk to. Like it, it, it didn't have to be the same. Oh, actress, I see. I see. Like yeah. an alter, a complete alter ego, and that's who, that's her, right? And then it would yeah. it would have been easier to play off of different clothes know? and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like that, that, that would. I mean, you could easily brought another actress in there, and then like nobody touches her or whatever. And I think that just would have made it easier to, to deal with. Um, because it was a mm-hmm. constant. That was a constant. Because even on the on the on the uh, credits, they called her uh, Cindy Jackson. Like 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 she had a. A full name and an alter ego. Like she played like two people. Like she got credit mm-hmm. for two for two roles. Um, mm-hmm. I think that would have that would have that would have sold it better. Um, I felt. I mean, for what the so uh, Cindy Cindy should have been our alter ego. What's up? Who Cindy? Her friend oh, should have been alter ego. From the Asian girl. Oh, okay. Cindy she, she played wasn't... like her evil side. That would have been more entertaining. Like, yes. yeah, girl, he gonna leave you. You better go there and get your man. Girl, he over there. Oh, that's why she show up everywhere because she's yes. not real. She's, not, she's like, yes. oh, yeah, the yes. wife is cheating. Go over there, girl. Yes. Tell him that his wife is fucking his friend. Yeah, girl. Yeah. That would have been actually more entertaining. Fight club. They should have fight club this shit. Wow. Yes. They should have fight club this shit. And then, and then, to your let's let's go down this road. So then, it's Sydney who shoots Dana and shoots Douglas, and then shoot like and then, and then, and then at the end like and then shoot and then shoots uh, uh then shoots Marcy, and then we see it for real that it was actually all her because mm-hmm. she's like fuck like it was all this oh, time. Oh like, yeah, it's- that would have been good. Cause she doesn't, cause yeah, cause she thinks that it's it's the other side of her, yes. but it's actually her doing it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been. Yeah, that would have been good. That's a good idea. Like, like they're both sitting on the porch when she's like, "You need to kill this bitch." And like, "No, Sydney, I don't." Yes, yes, you do, big girl. And I would been like, "Oh shit!" Now her drive, I swear, like her driving, picking herself up again. Like it, it's like, yeah, cause like I mean, yeah, fight. They should have fight club this. Sydney's the actual set person, and then you, you, yeah, and then she can be her. Like, what's those things? Sydney is Tyler Durden. Yes, 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 yes. That that that's the alter ego, and like it didn't take a lot of special effects. It, like it was a whole separate person. It's only about later down the road that you go, oh. Which, for the record, I don't think any movies really copy, like to 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 the level that Fight Club did it. I it's think, too, I think yeah, Club, it's too hard to pull off. Like after it's been done, it's like. Hmm. You can see you, it's the blueprint. Like you could have, like you know, like Fatal Tracks has been done different ways, but I think that was an awesome. Awesome reveal uh for uh for that. Uh just for anyway, just to get that movie credit. But anyway, I, I again I, I this this movie you can watch again. I did watch again and I was like crazy as fuck. I was like it was, it was almost like you have to watch it again to be like, how far did this bitch go? Like how how does this make sense? Uh the smothering, that's when Dana kicked her husband out, right? Yes, <laughs> that should have yes, been it. Yes. Yeah, that, that so she stayed with him while the cheating, but then somehow almost, yeah, he, almost he, murdered. Because- but yeah, like, too, so like, the boyfriend spazzed out on her too. I thought he was gonna kill her too, and then she still went back to him. I'm like, bitch, you don't make good decisions. <laughs> at some point, you gotta acknowledge that. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta be like, so maybe, but I mean, but yeah, she was again way too forgiving. Like, so short of the, the fight club perspective, Sydney finds the 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 the, the mayhem. Loses her shit, and then and then we see that grandma comes and picks the babies up. Cause they just like, what happened to the kids? Like, who's taking care of the babies now that everybody's dead? There's no ex- there's no explanation for that. So they could have spent a little time to just to make sure that you know the babies are okay, the sons are, are going to be all right. Um, uh, that, well, that would we be know good. they're going to be all right because they're going to be taking care of fam. Family will take care of them. I'm sure. What family? Well, I mean, do you think it's just like Dana doesn't have a mom and dad or and and then the, the baby had a grandmother. I, my my point though, the only person you saw was the grandmother, <laughs> and, and you and you only saw her like a few times. I'm saying, but to make her character relevant, like I'm saying, like right now, all, all our extended family we know is grandma, and then right. and Sydney and Chris. So like, if if, if they would have kind of tied that because they ran some random detectives just kind of walking around and that kind of stuff, um, they could have kind of put that together. And then at least again, we know the babies are gonna be all right. They don't they don't need to store what happened to their whole family. Uh, mm-hmm. but like that was that was wild. Um, but anyway, guys, I think I I, I loved it. I was like, I was like, this is a, this is this is good to be quality. Uh, uh, short, short of a, a couple of things. I see, obviously, Stacey says otherwise, but who okay, whatever. Uh, I liked it. All right, so uh, uh, okay. Any final words for this uh, before we get to our next two B classic? 
No, I mean it's worth watching. It was it was entertaining. So I I I I enjoyed it. I mean, it had a lot of that girl was crazy, but she was excellent at crazy. So I was like, cool. The girl China is her name. Her real name is China, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, yeah. in, in the movie, her name is Cindy. She's always on point. Like I, I've enjoyed her in three different things now. And so, I mean, just keep her in stuff. I don't, I don't care that she's, you know, I mean, I, I would, I'm sure there's people who have a problem with her um, being, not being black, but having a black accent, but it's like, it's language, right? It's, it's how you, it's what you hear when you're growing up and you choose that language, right? So it's not really a big deal to me. I don't really care, you know, <laughs> like how she talks. It fits whatever role she's playing and she does it very well. Um, and and she does tone it down. Like what what was that series we watched? Streets. Oh, uh, Street like, Legal. I love it. Yeah, remember she toned it down a lot for that. She yeah. did. All right, she yes, yes, it. yes, yes. She was yeah, she, so. she she didn't go, she she didn't get turned up, if you will, until she went to the hospital and murdered and murdered that dude. <laughs> like, so, yeah, that, yes. yes. Yeah, there's but, a time and a place. Before that, she was calm. She's she was a, a little, there's yeah. a time and a place, yes. Yeah, exactly. So um, yeah, so I, I would recommend watching it on a Saturday or Sunday, you know, while you're, you know, just hanging out. Just, yeah, watch it. It's not that long either. I think it's, what, an hour and a half or... Yeah, yeah. It's a yeah, standard. Not long. That's the best right. thing about Tubi movies. They get to <laughs> it. Plus they commercials. get to it. It's, they got it's, a it's, beginning, it's, a middle, and an end, and it's done. Yeah. I'll, I'll give you that. All right. Uh, again, we will see you again? Oh, of course. So, like, comment, subscribe. And we're trying to get to 2,000 and 2,100 subscribers uh, by my birthday, June 19th. So please share the video with anyone and everyone, even if you don't think they'll like it, share with them anyway. And we'll see you on the next video, which is in about five minutes. Okay. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> All right, Stacey, you're up. I guess I'm the only one that's going to be honest. This is not the best movie. Find something else to do with your life. Go read, take a walk, go to the gym, make sweet love to somebody, something. I don't know. Please help us reach 500 views per video. And 21, that only oh, moved up, 2,100 subscribers. Is there a due date for this, David? Yes, let's go for Juneteenth. We're going for, going for Juneteenth. For Juneteenth. Yes. Uh, for Black people and Black history and slavery and reparations and stuff. Thank you. Damn, Stacey. I don't know why she got to be like this. All right. Thank you all for hanging out with us uh, again. Uh, what's the point of subscribers? You don't know, actually watch the video. So 500 views per video. Let's do that. Go watch the movie. Come back. Watch our review. What do you think? Uh, yeah, 2,100 subscribers. Why? Because we hit 2,000 this week. So we thank you so much uh, for that. Uh, we appreciate you. I see people in the back. I really ain't paying attention to the stats. Uh, but, uh, but uh, at least one of us is. Uh, but anyway, so we got that. Uh, we got two more reviews coming for you. Uh, why do I, I, why, I don't know. It's our team. It's my team. Uh, it's what I do with them. Um, anyway, uh, till next time. I will say thank you guys very much for hanging out with us. I see people watching people in the chat. I, I enjoyed the view. I don't know what the fuck I was watching. <laughs> Rewatch this. Rewatch this when we're done. Rewatch this. You'll, you'll see what we're talking about. You'll be like, oh shit. Hilarious. Absolutely <laughs> hilarious. What are you want to go there? Oh, oh shit. Casey, do your thing. Fuck that shit. Um, anyway. Please like, can share, and comment on the video and all that kinds of stuff as they say. We're just going to end this broadcast and say bye.